Monster High began airing, I thought it was good, but there wasn't a lot to it. They were really laying the foundation for something that could be developed, but focused on the show being fun for kids, creating a situation where they can judge what direction the writing should go in, depending on what audience gravitates it towards it most. If little kids gravitate toward it more, then it'll focus on being a cute, fun, turn off your brain show, which is good, I need more of those. My brain is always on and not a lot of shows allow me to turn it off. But if an older audience gravitates towards it, then they can use the story blocks they laid down and flesh them out into a show that would better appeal to those people. Right now, I feel they're really just trying to straddle the line. They introduce small bits and pieces of interesting world building or character dynamics that are largely surface level, but can still be used later on. Also, wouldn't this scene of Frankie br brain, brain blasting a scene from Claudine's mom mean that Frankie has a piece of her brain in them? Whoa, marginally different angle because I realized my cord extends longer than I thought it did. Ooh, hi, Molly. I know they're doing it so that we don't see Claudine mom's, Claudine's mom's face, but okay, I'm gonna put you down. I know they're doing it so we don't see Claudine's mom's face, but it still creates an issue <laughs> when you really break it down logically. Don't be angry at me, I love you. You don't like being picked up. I also need to go over to the script to change. See my next line, cause I don't have a teleprompter. I just use my computer screen and it's over there. Breaking the fourth wall, letting everyone know my secrets, knowing that when I look this way, I'm looking at my script. All my secrets are destroyed because of you. You're sitting on my foot now. Like Claudine finding her brother Claude when opening a portal to another world dimension, whatever. And instead of getting her mom, which was her intention, she got her brother. And now we get to learn about Claude and who he is. And Claudine gets to learn about her mom through him. So it's not what she wanted, but it's not a total loss. Claude and Claudine? <laughs> Think Ra, my parents didn't name me Nephraine. They changed Cleo a lot, but they still give me reasons to like her. Everything leading up to that moment was really engaging. I was excited to see how they would expand on the world of Monster High. It really seemed like they wanted to start fleshing things out, but it was short-lived given that the episode where we finally got to see Claude, it was wrapped up in a side conflict where they needed to figure out how to stop the small little triple guy from consuming everything, which I feel dragged the episode down and wasn't wrapped up fast enough. I was interested in Claude and Claudine discovering each other and Claudine learning about her mom through Claude, but they know a younger audience still needs to be appealed to, so we got the annoying little guy that I don't really have a strong interest in, and then a singing aspect portion, which I, I can see how that'd be sweet, but also it's a little awkward when a character just starts b singing out of nowhere that I would that I never expected them to. Oh, let me sing my my uh, cute little family lullaby that my that our mom used to sing to us. Uh it's so awkward. It gives me secondhand awkward, you know? Does it am I alone in this? Am I the only one that feels this way? Now she's just sitting next to me. Now she's just right there. It's my little buddy. Little buddy for recording. Wow. Also, side note, I love the design for Halloween. This redesign is so colorful and cool. It's weird how they aren't related anymore. Don't know why they changed that. Now there's this thing that occurs in show writing where they tend to drop bits and pieces of uh, fandom teases. That being anything the fans who are active online can froth the map. Mouth over. Miraculous Ladybug is a great example because that's basically the entire show. In the episode Pyramid Scheme, where it's revealed that Cleo needs her heart in order to literally feel, but her heart is in a jar so it can be stolen, I thought this was going to be the origin of how she became more of a heartless popular girl character like in the original show. Clearly that's not how it turned out, and they just figured out how to get the talisman. Frankie gives up their heart in replacement of Cleo's heart on the altar, which was really sweet and seemed like an oddly generous gesture for someone Frankie doesn't really know all that well, at least according for the audience. We haven't seen them do much together. Little did I know that episode was actually leading to Frankie and Cleo opening up to each other and finding excuses to get to know each other. And we all know that two characters that are in close proximity are subject to being shipped by the fans on the internet. Also, did you know you can pre-order this Monster High inspired skate deck? You can pre-order right now on my Patreon. This will be the only time you can get this merch because I don't do merch drops twice. This is literally the only time ever. I know Patreon is a monthly subscription service, so if you get double charged, I'll just refund you. I've done this before, I know what I'm doing. Patreon just works and the previous forms of me doing merch drops have been 
a nightmare, so I just opt to use Patreon because it's surprisingly a lot simpler. Click the link below to grab yours. I realize I don't smile a lot in my videos. <laughs> I need to change that. I just forget to smile. Pearl is gonna adore this and I adore your brain. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Before it was a sad joke that Draculaura and Claudine should have been dating, and there's some hope that with this new iteration that those hopes could be true, but I, I, I what I wasn't expecting was a Frankie X Cleo ship, a ship official by the show, which I'm surprisingly okay with, but can we talk about how only two female characters in cartoons can date, oh, well, or in this case, two largely feminine presenting characters? We can't have two male or masculine presenting characters. I mean, think about it. The only time we see a queer couple in cartoons is two feminine presenting characters. Marcelina Bubblegum, Ruby and Sapphire, Amity and Luz. Now we have a female character and a Largely female presenting non-binary character, which it's neat how it's different, but in the eyes of the people outside the queer community It's not different, which is we know that's why they did it We know that's why Frankie still predominantly looks feminine this entire time because it needs to they know their target demographic is Girls they need they need Frankie to sell or my head canon is that since Frankie is technically very young and uh, their parents got them a bunch of clothes that is, I'm gonna sneeze, cause I'm, I'm allergic to cats. <sighs> nope, I'm, it, nope, okay. My headcanon is that uh, Frankie's parents got them a bunch of clothes that for uh, just were feminine and we're like, here you go. And Frankie's like, oh, so this is clothes. Cool, I guess this is what I'm wearing. Or it's like, this is what my friends are wearing, so that's what I wanna wear. I mean, that just makes sense. For us, clothes are clothes. Who cares? It's like LGBT is a list of what's socially acceptable to put on TV. In that order, you know what? That's wrong. I think it'd be LGB plus and then the T nowadays. Welcome to Skelly Vonderbone. That's me. Presents Performance Party. Is that Trixie Mattel? The drag queen? Griping aside, any representation whatsoever is great. I don't think anyone is going to be upset with Frankie and Cleo's potential relationship developing. And especially with how much crap drag queens are getting, having a drag queen voice act in the show is even more of a power move. Not only big props to Monster High, but also props to Nickelodeon. I guess this is actually really smart. If you want something to get more attention, do something controversial. And in this case, what's controversial also has a lot of supporters behind it. I've said it before, the overlap between the doll community, the queer community, and the makeup community is practically a circle. Incorporating any of these three aspects is a very safe bet. And a drag queen being a voice actress can largely go under the radar with overprotective parents, makes it doubly safe. I like the direction of the new Monster High. It's a show I'm excited to see how it develops more. It's clear they want to slowly build to a big finale that will get fans raving, and the longer we stay with it, the more it'll pay off. Oh my gosh, they finally introduced Twyla. I was wondering when they were going to do that. Okay, here it goes. I am autistic and loudness bothers me. It looks like they want to cover life lessons that isn't usually covered on typical kids shows. And with TikTok making ADHD and autism much more known and destigmatized, this is also a good idea. The only question is how well they'll represent someone with autism. And that's a topic I can't comment on because I definitely don't know a lot about it. So leave in the comments below if you think they're doing a good job. Did I use this video as an excuse to catch up on Monster High? Yes. Did I also use this video to make my point self-evident on how they add fandom bait for us to make videos on fandom bait and I, I Molly to let go of the cord. Did I also use this video to make my point self-evident by them making, by them adding fandom bait? <laughs> it's really hard to record. By them adding fandom bait into uh, the show and uh, for us to make content of online and me making content of it is proof that it's working. Yes, comment your thoughts on Cleo and Frankie. <laughs> and also comment how they're tackling autism awareness with Twyla. I actually, I'd, I, I, I am, I'm not gonna comment on that because I am not 
knowledgeable enough on this topic. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing. I need to go play with my cat now because she's being really annoying. This is what I get for giving her treats and making her like me. She hangs out with me all the time now. Yay.